What's up guys, it's Ezekiel13 and welcome back to another video inside of Minecraft, inside my amazing world. And, yeah, haven't uploaded anything in like about five months now, so... Sorry for the gap between uploading, but anyways, I'm back. Hello amazing world. Hello, uh, ship up there. Hello, statue of the fountain. So yeah, that was a pretty long time for uploading, and yeah. I now have a diamond instead of a chicken up there, since that's the diamond I got for Christmas. And yeah, hello cats, hello dogs, yeah, hello Sam, hello Fluffy, hello Blueberry, hello Emerald, hello Darky, and hello Tia, and hello dogs. So yeah, hello Lily Boo, hi Marmaduke, oh, Marmaduke, get up there, hello Marmaduke, hi Rosie, hello Vines, hi Daffodil, hi Clara, hi Chocolate, hi Lava, hi Cloud, hi Tulip, and hi Flo. Well, I have a lot of dogs. So yeah, about the Christmas video, it was a little late since I had to do a lot of editing, but, you know, it's uploaded, it's ready, but yeah, this is like the first proper, proper video of 2022 for me. That isn't like the Christmas thing, but yeah. I feel like I'm just gonna go around, have a little swim. Oh, there's a bunch of drowns. Wait, did some of them die? Like, because there's some XP. Hold on. Uh, need to, like, kill this one. Come on, just... There we go. Oh! Oh, he's burning up. There there we go. Just got some rotten flesh during the process. Okay. Feels great to swim in this water again after months of not being here. And the reason why I haven't been uploading is because a lot of stuff. My computer didn't really work and it also didn't have any sounds until I have some speakers. Now which pretty much like has the sound for me going. But yeah. Oh, there's another one. Ow. Let me just kill this one. Oh. Uh, I also want to try making something like a conduit of something, because I did see, like, a prismarine sphere of some sort that you could place a conduit on, but, yeah, hold on, just need to kill these. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of air. It doesn't make sense since I'm an eel, and usually eels can breathe underwater. That might change if I have the conduit stuff. Oh, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. There we go. I'm just probably gonna eat some stuff and just get hunger poisoning. So, yeah. Just want to find some stuff to make a conduit. I think I only need, like, one Nautilus shell left. And I also need the Heart of the Sea as well. So, yeah. And back in 2019, I also tried to find a treasure chest as well with a lot of stuff which can contain a heart of the sea but I haven't really found it because yeah like it's pretty much just buried deep in there and yeah oh there's a squid and also I really want to see how the villagers are doing and also Frank, and also uh, the rides in the theme park as well. Just need to eat some more of this. Just need to find some place. I probably need some more drowns to kill until I find one with a Nautilus shell. So, yeah. I also need to show the cottage as well in its like normal Minecraft look instead of the festive look. Sure, the festive one is a bit, like, nicer looking, but yeah. Just need to eat a bit more. Okay. Oh. Uh, I forgot. There's no place for me to, like, breathe without a water breathing potion. So, yeah. Just need to find... Uh, hold on, I think I might have the treasure map at home as well, which I could use. 
Oh, I also noticed there's some more drowns as well. Probably just need to get off. Okay. Just need to eat some more. Like, my hunger's really going down. Mainly because of the rotten flesh. But that's about it. I just need some, like, proper food. And just... Yeah. Hold on. There's... A lot of... Drowns. Like, how many drowns are there? How many zombies that are there that drowned in this vast ocean? Oh, and also, might need to... Like, I haven't been to the villages in a while, like, the one on that sandy island. But, you know, I feel like they're doing alright. But, I think I'm probably just going to uh, drop this down. There we go. I feel like that's already incinerated. Okay, I probably need to find some proper food since rotten flesh won't help. So, yeah. Oh, that's the mushrooms, but they're not edible. I think I need something like some pork chops or roast chicken, like cooked chicken there, something like that. Sometimes it's called like roast because, yeah, usually we would call it roast chicken or something. I'll just say, just chicken of some sort. But, yeah. Oh, I see the uh, King Creeper's castle. Oh, and I just realized it's literally been a year ever since I last saw King Creeper and how he said he's pretty much going to build like a space station and destroy the Earth and conquer the universe and then possibly destroy it as well. And then possibly the multiverse and then who knows? Oh, there's a pig. Sorry, but I have to cook because I'm starving. Wow, that's four pork chops. Like, it dropped. Well, that's looting. Oh. And, yeah. I think I saw, like, the space station, like, being built at some point. Like, a couple of years ago. Like, probably since 2020. And that's when he revealed, like, and back in April 2021, he revealed, like, what that thing was. But I don't think it's there anymore. I think it's probably been destroyed, I think, because it didn't really look that great. Oh, hey, Danny. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Benjamin. You guys doing okay while I'm gone? Like, for five months? Yeah, they're doing good. Um, I must find a drowned with a Nautilus shell at some point. I'll probably just, like, wait here until one potentially sp shows up. Oh, and hold on, I think the chunks might be loading in, because I know there's the skull up there. There we go. It's loaded. Sure, it looks a bit ugly, but still... Still what it looks like, because, yeah, it's Minecraft and it has a lot of corridors. Oh, there's, there's a drown. Oh, it has the Nautilus shell. Finally. Just need to, uh, murder you. I just need to take that shell. Because I need it for a conduit. Oh, there it is. You know what? Uh, I think I'm probably going to dump these in the fire like where the chimney is because it's pretty much worthless like for me since I'm already full just need to drop these fo oh oh god I forgot that was the one that didn't have the ladder that was the one with the fire underneath jeez like five months and I already forgot like my own chimney like placement like I forgot, like, some of the places in my house already. That's what five months does to any of like me. There's the shell. Now I got it. Oh, and might I just say, these shells actually look really great, too. Like, they look really cool. Like, 
all detailed and all of that. I'll, I'll also like the look of those spirally shells of some sort. Right, I'm probably just going to put it in the chest with all the others. Yeah, now I just need the heart of the sea witch. Yeah. Oh, I have something. Yeah, I have the treasure map of some sort, but I'll probably just open the door so I can just get out a bit quicker. I'm probably, ju I'm probably just going to have to break a bit of the bed so I can see, because right now it's pretty difficult. So I just have to break this bit and then just place it back. Yeah. Let's just see. Oh, it's on the left, and it's not far. Yeah, I remember back in 2019, that was the last time I actually looked at the map. So, yeah. And I think after five months of not being there, I think the terrain has already changed as well. I think. Because usually that can happen, like, if you're there. Time flies past really f quickly. Uh, I think, uh, oh, there's the egg, just for it, I think I might need to, uh, hold on, I think in order to get the treasure, I think I might need my shulker box that I have on my bed, because that'll be quicker, and that saves me from having to run back and forth with my inventory full up, like filled up. So yeah, I just need to break this. And then just take it and then pretty much just put all the stuff in there and then just carry it all back. So I can put it with all the others. Cause I wonder what stuff there is in the treasure that I might possibly find. I know there's like the X marks the spot thing. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna throw these pork chops since they're pretty much a waste of a slot in the inventory. So, yeah. to go around my theme park as well and I might have to kill them because yeah they're pretty much just like taking up a bit of space uh, oh there it is didn't realize that it was that shallow uh, hold on I might need to uh, hold on there's the well but I'm not even gonna bother I think I'm probably just gonna place this down see whoa like, there's some iron, emeralds, gold, diamond, and I think that's the heart of the sea in the middle. Uh, yeah, I just got the iron, and then I need to get the emeralds. And then, um, need to get the gold. Also, there are six emeralds instead of seven, which could possibly lead me to be some golden god-like thing that flies around really fast. Then there's the diamonds and the heart of the sea. Okay. I'm probably just gonna cover this bit up. There we go. I'm probably just gonna leave it there and not worry about putting it in the box. 
The others, I'm just gonna leave it in there, because, you know, the heart of the sea is important, and I think it's better if I take hold of it. And, yeah, while I'm at the theme park as well, like, which is gonna be what I'm gonna be doing soon, when I'm in the theme park, I'm actually gonna do, like, a behind-the-scenes tour of, like, the roller coaster, the Eels Bolt Coaster. Since there is something hidden, and I think it's called the Emerald of Life, which... Oh, I'm a bit Yeah, so yeah, the Emerald of Life is pretty much, like, what, um, keeps the world from being, like, crumbled up and destroyed. There's the place where I can put the heart of the sea. Uh, there's the iron and there's the emeralds. Yeah, like, if I had seven, I would just go around really fast, all yellow and, like, with, like, red eyes, kind of like a certain hedgehog. But, yeah, of course I'm talking about Sonic of some sort. Oh, and talking of which, I have seen the movie Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's really great. It's better than the first one, in my opinion. Wait. I have a Heart of the Sea already and a Nautilus shell, so I had to waste my time, like, finding it. Oh well, that was a fun treasure hunt, and I finally found the treasure after years. So yeah, just need to get the golden diamond. Like, I like the I like the cast in the film too. Like, Jim Carrey was really great as Eggman, like in the first one, and Idris Elba's Knuckles was also really great too. Like, he was pretty much like a combination of like really badass and really funny at the same time. I think he's pretty much just like the Sonic version of Drax, basically, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Since both Knuckles and Drax are basically like intimidating, but still naive at the same time. So, yeah. But other than that, I still need to just sort out my stuff, because I need to get some more food. Just gonna... Uh, throw away the egg. So that's three chicken. Like, it doesn't really make sense since it just shows the whole chicken, but still, like, if you have looting, it can just clone the chicken's corpse and then just, yeah. So that's more food. Just gonna throw away these feathers. I don't really need any arrows or anything or, like, a book and quail or something. Don't really need those. But... Other than that, I think I'm probably going to go to the theme park in a minute. So, yeah. Since I haven't been there in five months. And, yeah, I have this, like, strange feeling that King Creeper might be, like, uh, creating, like, another space station of some sort. Since the old one is destroyed, and I think he didn't think it was good enough for, like, planet destruction or universe destruction or stuff like that. I'm still gonna keep this chicken, since I know what it's like when, yeah, like, you throw away something and then you just get hungry straight afterwards. So, yeah. I'll probably just, like, take a quick away, like, going through, like, the middle of the world. Which pretty much has like this cobblestone block, which I feel like it might. Legend says it might have turned into like a block of water to like mark where it is. So, yeah. I'm just gonna go through the middle. Because that would be a, an easier way. I don't think it would be easier, but it's just a more fun way. So yeah, I have this strange feeling that some- Oh, wait. What is that? Like, that kind of looks like a scientific, like, atom structure of some sort. It looks so spherical. Like, I haven't made anything sphere, and that's definitely not mine. It just looks like a man-made planet of some sort. Which looks really close to... 
the planet that I'm on, or pretty much everyone's, which is Earth of some sort, yeah. It is Earth, but, you know, that's an awfully close planet. Or maybe it's a pretty big one, and it's just there from that view. But anyway, I'm just going to make my way to the theme park now. But still, I've never seen anything so spherical in my life in Minecraft. Like, pretty weird. Might possibly, like, investigate it a bit soon, like, in the near future. So, yeah. Let me just... Oh, there's... Wow, that made me jump. Like, I literally just heard, like, a loud thud and the squeal. So, yeah, and it just happened while I wasn't looking. Okay. I think I'm probably going to do the icy parkour climb first, as usual. I usually like doing the ones which are, like, the smallest to possibly the biggest. Hold on, I'm just... I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to... All that for some rabbit hide. I thought I was going to get something a bit more like some rabbit food in general or a rabbit foot. Well, I don't think the rabbit foot is important, but it's usually pretty lucky to get a rabbit's foot. And you can use it for a potion of leaping if you're not really a veteran at Minecraft, just explaining that. So yeah. Hey Frank. You okay? Like, how have you been for the last five months? Last time I saw you. You doing good? You doing good? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Nod. Something like that. I think he's probably just... Um... Sta standing still like... The golem he is. Or well, I think he's... Just gonna... Uh, look at the wall now. So yeah. I'll just do the icy parkour climb first. I'm gonna... Get the token. Which is technically an emerald, but it is a token, like, what I call it. Okay, I'm just gonna... There we go. And there we go. Jump. Yeah, this is the hard part. Right. Dang it. Okay. Jump. And jump. And... Yeah, this one done. Jump. I chose blue ice because it's... A bit nicer to look at. Jump. Well, Benjamin chose it. I don't think I built it. And I think it was, like, usually villagers don't build, but I'm not too sure. Like, I think I helped alongside Benjamin, but yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. There we go. Yeah, got it. In the slot. Now I just need to uh, put this back and... I think I'm probably going to move on to the uh, journey around the river tide, which I really like. Like, I really liked what I did with that one. That one I built instead of, yeah, I did, I did it by myself, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, journey around the river tide. And I think during the aquatic update, they finally made the boats levitate on water now. Because before, they didn't. But before, when they didn't have oars, they did. But then, when they got added oars, then they couldn't. But during the aquatic update, they now do. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and I also like how I pretty much, like, put the lift hill and the drop literally circling around the floating sand block which is on the only downside is is you can get stuck on it quite a bit oh. there we go there's the floating sand block all right just need to just needs to go down the drop and then yeah I think the one I'm most impressed by is the shockwave tower because yeah it's pretty cool looking Whee! There we go, down the drop. 
as I was saying, Shockwave Tower is probably my most impressive one since... I don't remember seeing anyone literally making a drop tower in their theme park in Minecraft of some sort. Well, unless in like a recent update, but this is like the last update that the Xbox 360 had was the Aquatic, but yeah, it's pretty impressive how this is actually functional. But anyways, let's ride the drop tower now. Okay, let's go. Whee! And we're going up the lift hill. Well, really fast. More like a launch, but yeah. Let's go. Whee! Down the drop. And bounce. Bounce. Yeah, it's pretty bouncy because there's a slime block. I think it kind of feels like an SNS power tower. I think that's what the thing I was probably going to do with. Since I don't know how to like make like a proper lift hill, like ladder style, like when you go up. But yeah, with pistons, it's still hard, but at least possible. Okay. Just need last button. There we go. And now time to ride the Eels Bolt Coaster. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna do like the behind the scenes tour and show you the Emerald of Life. Which is one of the most important things in the amazing world. So, yeah. It's, and like I said earlier in the video, it pretty much like keeps the whole world from crumbling apart or being destroyed. So yeah. Oh, uh, didn't mean to do that. And I like how there's the brain and the heart on it as well. And the Emerald Life is like exactly on the heart, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of like the source of... It's kind of like the source of the whole world's power, basically. Yeah, the source of power for the... For my amazing world, basically. And also what pretty much keeps us alive. But anyway, time to ride it. So, here we go. Up the lift hill. Here we go. And... Into the mouth. And we can see the brain and the... Heart. Right, here we go. Let's go. Whee! On the launch. And onto the highest point. Whee! I, I didn't make it longer mainly because it needs to be like uh, visible for like the park and yeah, I don't want like anything else like a uh, savannah or like another village literally seeing a part of the coaster and just going to find out what it is and then just yeah walking a long time to get to the place. But anyways, now I think it's time for me to leave the park and just go back home. And find some food along the way, because I'm literally down to like four and a half hunger. So, yeah, I might need to find some thing like a chicken. I usually like hunting for chickens, because chicken is pretty much like my favorite food in Minecraft. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's delicious. Well, I wouldn't say it's cool, but yeah, a lot of people like chicken in Minecraft, and yeah, it is delicious, in my opinion. Oh, talking of which, there is one. I just need to. There we go. How many chicken was that? Hold on. Four. Okay, that should be enough. Now, let me just. Uh, eat this. There we go. And I might need to throw the feathers in another cactus. Oh, and there's also Sarah and Jeff. It's grave. I still miss them. And I feel like I might have a... Yeah, there is a bigger gravestone planted for, like, someone else if they die and the gravestone is ready if some sort of like the tomb tombstone. Oh I almost forgot. I still need to show you the cottage as well. It's right here. Like outside of the festive texture pack. So yeah, there's the fences, there's like a little lake and some vines for decoration. And yeah, like a gravel path to make it feel like the old, old villages. That used to have gravel paths instead of the grassy paths, basically. 
And yeah, inside there's the uh, there's the bed, the enchantment table, the couches, crafting table, jukebox, bookcase, and also some chests done in the basement, and also the carpet and the furnace as well, and some plants. So yeah, I think it's time for me to go back, but I think I might need to just um, eat this last piece of chicken, and I might need to get hurt a bit first cuz yeah usually when you get hurt that means you get a bit hungry I know I'm not gonna blow myself up on TNT Hill cuz yeah one TNT Hill is like a little landmark and also one of the first things that I actually managed to place down in Minecraft and yeah it's pretty iconic for me I'm just gonna like, I would just have to jump off of, like, a ledge. So, yeah. And then just run around hoping for the best. I think I'm probably gonna, like, go inside now, because, yeah, I think that's a bit of running, and then when, probably when I go up, I can just run around, and then hopefully a bit of hunger just goes down. Oh, there it is. See ya. Yeah, delicious. But anyways, uh, that's going to be the end of the episode. And I don't know what I'm going to do next time. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully not another five-month gap. But yeah, bye.